Hi everyone, we're going to be talking habits today and there's a lot of work involved in habits because so many people have bad habits. You need to wake up in the morning, first thing, positive mind, you need to be thinking positive thoughts. How many of you see on Facebook, you know, oh this has happened, oh I'm going to have a crap day, oh, blah, blah, blah. that is not the way to run a business. If you get up and think, right, today I am going to get five new team members. Today I'm going to message five team members. I am going to book in a party. I'm going to promote to get five bookings for December. Whatever. You need to get up, have a plan and work to that plan. So wake up, positive mind. Also say to yourself, what can I do today that I'm going to be better helping my customers? How can I better help my customers today? So think of checking the stock tab. Every day you need to be logging into the main FM website. Check the stock tab. There's no point promoting fragrances. There's no point promoting Nutricode or you know any product that is out of stock. So that has to be every single day. Check the news tab, check the stock. Then you've got a plan for the rest of the day. Then if somebody says to you, right, I want a while this, you can say, well, it's not in stock till next week. Or you know, you are a better place to tell them when they place the order. So please, please, please get in the habit of checking your FM back office every single day, the news section and the stock tab. Also, if you're team building, check your tree because you maybe haven't checked your email yet and you've not noticed that you've got a new team member. So straight away, the minute you get a new team member on your tree, you need to be sending them a welcome email. Even if you've got it on a mobile, iPad, whatever device you use, it's no point you know, getting a new member yesterday and only sending them the information today. You need to be there to support them and getting into a habit of being there for them, sending them the information straight away means that they are gonna get active straight away as well. So if you, it's like if you say, I'm going to have a crap day. You're going to have a crap day. And if you're not showing that you're not bothered about your new member, then your new member's not going to be bothered about the business or you. So again, get into the habit of checking your tree, checking your stock and checking the um, new section daily. Now, what else can we cover? Um, there's so much scheduling. We are going to go a lot more into this next time. I've got um, some stuff that I've already done for you on scheduling because you all know I, I use SyncShare. And I use that to schedule on Facebook, in my groups, in my um, page. And I, I tend to mix it up because Facebook likes you to schedule directly through Facebook. So I do a mix. So I'll use, sometimes I've got SynShare going, but you know, the chances that it's probably, I would say um, th out of three posts, two on my page would be directly scheduled into Facebook and one, one would be SynShare. Um, in my team training, everything is since share um, or I post myself. And the same with um, Instagram, you can use since share to pre post a, a post on there. So I don't use it much, um, but if I do, you know, if I'm going away or anything like that, or I know there's something I really want to get out there, I will plan it, put it into since share, and it'll pop up for me to physically um, launch it onto Instagram. So scheduling frees up so much time. I cannot stress enough, Sundays are scheduling days. Take an hour out of your day. You know, you are always going to be working your business. There's, you know, you can take time off in two years time to not be as full on with your business, but you will always be working it. I still always work it. So Sundays, to make that time, put some time aside to schedule for the week ahead. I've seen me plan a month, even six weeks ahead with Sinshare. Um, because you have that capability of doing it, especially for my group, because there's so much stuff I don't want new members missing out on. Uh, so I like to make sure that that post is always coming round and reminding people. So again, it's about a habit and creating scheduling. It, like I say, it frees up so much of your time. Now, how many times sat black hole sit on Facebook and just scroll, 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 scroll? And how many people do you see who are in FM oh I'm bored oh this you know and it's like if you you know you told me that you wanted to run a business you told me you wanted to do this but yet you're doing nothing you're playing on candy crush you waste you're wasting time and you yes you can still play all those things if you want to play them but if you're not actively posting daily if I've never seen you for over two weeks posting your in your page 
or post on your profile, then that tells me you're not running a business. So you join to make money. So go make money. You know, you've got to be doing this every day, working your business. This is the only way that you're going to get successful. So if you think it's going to be easy, it is not going to be easy. Every day you need to be working your business, scheduling. You can go and play in Candy Crush, do whatever you want. Schedule post. It doesn't matter because you're still being active. Your customers, you know, I say all the time, if you're, um, you've got to be consistent or you're in the, you know, you're not existent. And it's true. You are not existent if you are not consistent. So constantly post, which means scheduling twice a day on a Facebook page, AM and PM. They are the most active times for me. It's like between seven and eight. Um, so when people are just getting up, you know, kids maybe brushing their teeth or whatever, they're going to sit scrolling Facebook on a night. They're in bed. Nine o'clock, I tend to post. That's when people are, are scrolling the game. So for me, those are the times a day that I actually post on Facebook pages and I schedule to those times as well. Now, what else? Let's see. You have to create a business. I've just said that, um, you know, book a party, go live. Um, you need to be working your business. Add friends daily. You, I, this is going to be part of a, a challenge I want you to do. It's not even a challenge. It's just something that you need to be aware of. So you need to be adding new members to your personal friends list every single day, even if it's five new friends. And where are you going to meet these new friends? We talk about it a lot in um, training. You'll see me, you know, join a club, join a gym, get out of the house. You need to have a break. You need to step back from your business because otherwise it's, it, it's, it, it, become, it takes over your life. So you do your schedule and you do your work and then you take some time out and you're allowed to have that time out. You know, we're all allowed to have a break. Now, go and join a group, have a hobby, create a group, join a gym and build up friendships. Then you are connecting with them on your personal profile. Join networking groups, join on Facebook. Um, fellow mums that are looking for work um, on Facebook. Maybe you've got, I don't know, there's so many groups on Facebook you can join. Get active on those groups. Then you can start adding people. It's not going to happen straight away. You know, I can't say to you, you now go and add five new friends this minute. But you need to be laying the foundations every single day. Again, it's your habit of getting active in a group. So be active in a networking group. Be active in a mums and toddlers group. Be active in, you know, anything. Just be active. Be seen. So your name is always popping up as being helpful and giving value to other members of that group. Then people are going to friend a question. So you need to be adding people to your page. So my question to you now is, how many personal friends do you have on Facebook? How many people are on your profile? I started probably off maybe about seven, eight weeks ago with maybe, I'd, I'd got rid of loads, um, maybe about 900. I've now got 1,600. And those are, you know, fellow networkers. Um, and they are part of my personal profile friends. But they are also going to see my business content pop up. So that is why you need to be adding friends every day. Growing your business, planting seeds. There's no good saying doing absolutely nothing you need to be planting seeds and watering them. You water them with your value. And then, you know, they're going to be good to know you a lot more. They're going to grow. You are going to grow on them. And that's where it's about your personality, shining through on your profile and getting more friends who are then going to keep seeing your content. And maybe one day, you know, somebody might say to them, oh, have you tried FM Perfume? It's amazing. And then that person, yeah, I know somebody who does that because you've all, you, you're already on a constant liking the posts, commenting, and you're engaging in a friendship and then they're gonna you know refer you now what else can we talk about um so try and add at least five new team members as well so we want friends added daily team members you should be looking at adding about five new team members a month because you can give them five members your time there's no point adding 50 members because you need to be working with them you need to um be voice messaging them video calling them arranging zooms arranging uh, you know do they want some extra help if not plug them right into our training because we have weekly training i for one am a person that cannot stand being hassled um, to me it is hassle when um, i joined it was like you know i don't want to have lots of text messages phone calls how are you doing this that and the other i just like to be left alone to get on with what i was doing i'm not the only person out there you can put off new members massively and I stopped massively for about 12 months. You can do exactly the same. So just leave them. There's a, I'm going to go through this in another day, 
but there is the process and the strategy and it works you know sign up a new member obviously you've already done the, the pre-talk and you, you know a bit about them you know about the family you know what they want you know what they expect out of them what they expect from you support wise then that's it you just say you know i'm going to get in touch with you in another week see how you're getting on and i'm going to put you into the team page leave them to it you put them into the group you've sent them the training email they're in the group you've tagged them in the welcome post which says go and look in the pin post and um, go and access our training and blah 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 so they know they're adults so it's now their responsibility you gave them the opportunity the opportunity is what they make of it it's not what you can do for them it's their business so let them take some ownership and responsibility they know where you are they know where the group is let them do what they want with the business and you will always find that people will come to you if they want support and those people are just like your diamonds those are the ones that will really push the business further and those are the ones that you do give most of your time to you know you give your time to the workers and to not to the others so it's like an 80 20 so you're going to put 80 percent of your time into the people that are actively wanting to run the business become leaders you are creating leaders um, you are creating party planners you are creating people who want something better out of their life and you you have got the tools to give them they've got a group they've got the fm website the tools are there to run with it 20 percent is just you know just doing whatever just daily you know running your business so make sure that you've got into the habit of not pestering new members um, so try and add five members a month and um, work with them now the way that you can do that as well is i'm going to upload the lots of checklists so every month get into the habit of creating a schedule for you as a leader or for you as a seller you can do exactly the same you can plan an online party you can plan uh, promotions you can plan your business around it and planning makes you know a huge difference because you can schedule posts to go live on a certain day of the month you could do prepay day um, you've got the 15th of the month people get paid and usually the end of the month so you can do posts leading up to that scheduled you can promote an aloe vera week you can have a big lucan week where you are giving valuable tips not selling the product you are giving tips all week leading up to the you know the big sale at the weekend or something of wholesale products or something you need to be dangling them carrots and you know getting eyes on you have to remember it's like a tv channel don't bore people and um, they don't want that at all right so the value and power of recognition this is huge you will see me do it all of my personal profile and on my business page and you need to do exactly the same you need to be recognizing every single new member that hits three percent six percent nine percent twelve percent and so on why i do it for those because it's an achievement it's a massive achievement doing three percent i can personally do 100 points on my own anybody can do that but to do 300 points takes, you know, they are starting to use systems. They are really working, you know, the business. So recognize it, do shout outs. Um, I tend to do it only for the first time people hit levels because I've got such a big team. I can't keep track of it all. So, but I can keep track of every time somebody hits it for the first time. Um, and, you know, that power to that person, everybody loves recognition. Everybody loves it. Even I love it. And um, that's why, you know, I'm going to hit try and get to another level because when you hit the, the top levels, you know, it's like you don't get the recognition anymore. Um, so it's lovely to be recognized for your, you know, your hard work. So try and get into the habit of doing that all the time. So you've got your shout outs for hitting your levels. You've got shout outs for top sellers. You've got shout outs for somebody who's added the first team members for the first time. It is huge. But the power of putting it on your personal profile and your page is that people are going to see that. People who are looking at you, maybe looking at what you're doing. There's so many people sitting on the fence and are watching you. So watch what you were posting on Facebook personal profiles. Don't be miserable. Don't be boring. Don't be, you know, effing and jeffing and everything else and slagging everybody off of the next door neighbor and stuff. Because that's not a team I would, you know, want to join. And it's certainly not somebody I want to buy from. So that's just not me. That's the opinion of a lot of people. So the minute you start selling and building a team, you are public property. 
Now, you want those people who are watching you to join your team. They are, you've got an 85% more chance that they're going to join your team because they see you recognizing people. They see you doing incentives. They see you, you know, being consistent. They see you having amazing good habits. So they will be more likely to join you. So do any personal profile. It takes about five to eight times. Every time you post something, somebody's going to see that about five times to eight times before they are even going to say, right, send me some information. Yes, I want to buy that product. They want to know that you are genuine. So again, daily habits. Um, so that, and exactly the same with the page. It, it, it is, it's priceless. It really is priceless to recognize your team. So you need to be doing a daily, weekly, and a monthly, and an upline. Um, you know inspiration so make sure that you are doing that um all the time for the recognition right what else we're going to do what else we're going to do do, do, do do i've got some things i'm going to upload as well as this but i really just want you to to get you um into the habit of creating habits so i'm going to add some checklists we've got customer record we've got a leader month monthly checklist i've got some shout outs i've created for you because i know there's a lot of people that maybe aren't as you know accessible to pick monkey in canva as what i am because i use a laptop mainly um, and i know it's hard for people who use mobiles and um, other devices to get creative there's still stuff out there but if you are going to do creative don't dark naff Try and, you know, make it look pretty and, and nice. Um, do the best with what you've got. But that is why I'm going to upload these for you to you so you can use them, edit them, do whatever you want with them. It's going to help start you off until you can create your own. And we've also got the um, social media. Now, this isn't coming until about day five or six, which will be next week. Um, but I want you to remember that it's there, basically. Get into the habit of scheduling Daily, Monday could be motivation. Tuesday could be a tip, tip Tuesday. This is easy to recognize. Work it, work it Wednesday, so you could do some um, team promotion, team shout outs. You could do, um, you know, this is my team member, day on a third Wednesday. And you want to be inspiring people with all these posts, getting engagement. Thursday, um, whatever, we've got them all planned. They're all there for you. To, to start planning and creating something. So every single day, don't be just posting motivation, motivating, motion, blah, 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 blah. Do something different. Get people to know you, your personality, your family. You know, they, you need to say, it's about personal branding. It's like you want to ask the question to your friends, what, what do you know me for, for doing? You know, what do you see from me? What do you know when you see my face? What do you instantly think of when you see me? And those are the, the habits and things that people might see. I mean, one, somebody I know is vegan. Um, and a, a vegan post popped up on Facebook. Straight away, I tagged her because I know she's vegan. And um, then somebody, you know, I don't know, it could be like Sophie, she's obsessed with goats. So that would be, every time I see a goat, I would tag her in a goat picture. Um, and it's the same for me. People will tag me in things. You know, everybody knows I like my goats. Um, my red hair, anything to do with this is part of me and my personality. But you need to get that more over on your personal profiles and on your pages. So get into the habit of thinking about habits and doing them daily because once you start getting into a rhythm and a routine and scheduling them, life is just going to be so much more easier. So that's it for now, guys. Um, I'm going to leave a task here. Speak to you all soon. Bye.